design for change is spotlighting children doing good. And I think that's the first time we're actually highlighting empathy or kindness and responsibility. So uh, design for change is also telling us that children don't have to be rich or strong or 18 to make change happen. All they have to do is feel. And small stories are bringing out big changes. And I think that's important. My project is about the kilometer of love, that we all can help for the children of cancer so they can have better possibilities of their life because most of them, they can't pay for all of their treatments. So we can all cooperate and we can help them. Uh, a simple design process of getting children to feel anything that bothers them, imagine a way to make it better, then go out and do it and then share it. These four steps became the steps to saying, I can instead of can I. So in 2009, we started Design for Change and reached 30,000 schools in India. Uh, after which, in 2010, it went global. And uh, today, uh, it's in 35 countries, reaching 25 million children. Well, we noticed that when we came into the lunchroom at lunchtime, a lot of kids were sitting there alone. And and we really didn't like that. We thought it was really bad that kids were not having fun with friends. So we decided that we'd post um, positive messages around the school, reminding people to not bully others and to be friends with others. We had a lot of advertisements. One of them was, this is a no bully zone. And another was, be kind and be a friend, don't bully others. We wanted the messages to add to them. Like, because um, a lot of time advertisements like make people feel even worse about themselves because oh they can't be that way but um, we wanted so we called our project advertisements so they the positive messages for positive change and we actually did see a lot of change with people like going out of their zone to talk to other kids and everyone had a friend to be there for them in the result of the project my project is about my blind friend Jack because he wants to know the people around him, how they look like, but he's too shy to ask. So I designed some invitation cards that he could give to his friends, his family, or his classmates. And he could ask that if they would allow him to touch their faces. And so after the project, I was shocked to learn that it was the first time that Jack ever touched his mother's face. And at the same time, I feel very warm and there may be a lot like Jack out there, so we printed more cards and we spread it. I think it's pretty meaningful, since most of us who could see, we take it for granted. So it's actually not hard to help if we really want to. For us, the buzzword is I can, because I think the I can starts innovation. It's the first preamble to imagination. Um, and I think that's what our children are actually putting forth, and we've got the largest collection of stories anywhere in the world today of children changing the world.